demonstrate my nautical prowess with a nasty figure eight here. Huh? Huh? Look at that. Folks, it is early. Early. I don't know what time it is right now, but we got up at 4, so it ain't much. It's probably 4.20 now. We're going to get out there early. Set up spots. It seems like those birds are just plain old going to be quiet. And so we're going to set up on those strut spots. Maybe the spot uh, Bucket walked around and bumped a couple hens off of this green uh, little green field. So he might go sit there. I'll sit on a, a spot that had the wing marks and uh, see how this morning goes. Maybe we can get a gobble. It is nicer when they gobble. Otherwise, we're literally deer hunting them right now. So my plan will be to get out there and we'll be there plenty early. Build a nice little blind so I can really just sit in there and, and get comfortable and Hopefully just get one to wander by I guess <laughs> See you out there Mud motor gets us in here That was the guy with the decoys at the corner yesterday morning. That was that young guy that came to talk to us yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh, no. The guy with the decoys at the corner was the uh, guy in the bicycle. Okay. But the guy that talked to us last night, he's coming in right now. That's the, yeah, that's the guy in the bathroom. He's going to pull up a little bit further up here. Um, he's the guy that I think was set up on the trail that you saw yesterday on the spot uh, so the race is on You know there's some dudes set up over there like 60 yards away from you? Is there? There's a blind right at the corner at the entrance. Like you can see the decoys. You'll see it. They came through back here. They put their airboat over there this morning. Did you hear any gobbling? I did. Did you? It had You had to have heard it because... I was on them. Three gobblers. I knew there was three. I could I could hear them that good. You know how to... That's right. It's about 10 o'clock. We've done our morning sit. We did hear some gobbles this morning. And uh, we're heading out in the direction that they went. And to our knowledge, nobody else went after them. Everybody's still sitting in their blinds and sitting on the roads back there. Buck was actually sitting pretty close to him this morning. Maybe about 200 yards or so. But he had a big wide open field between him and them. So now we're seeing if we can get back in here with him. That was a hand. Uh -huh. We have some big footprints in the mud. Buck just called and the hand you popped back at us.
kind of cut this off a little bit. setup was right back over there but right now we're getting antsy we've been over there a number of hours snuck in on us. Oh my god. Oh my lord, look at that. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god
look at that bird, dude. Oh my god, look at that bird. Oh my lord. Look at that rope, dude. Oh my. Dude. It's... Dude. <laughs> What a stud, look at that white head. Bro, I gotta take a picture of him now. Oh my gosh. You smoked that. Let me go grab my GoPro real quick. Osceola down. Osceola down. Look, here's the wad. Dude, dude. <laughs> that is the most beautiful turkey I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Look at his feathers, man. Look at the snoot on that bird. Dude, he just came in on us. He looped around to our left. I just saw it on the left side. I saw his I head. kept, you see how many he times I've been looking? You was looking at, I see left and I just see white. I just see the white head looking between two cypress trees. And I'm like, no, that's it, that's him. You know how many times I was back in like this with the binos looking to my left to see if, make sure he didn't loop on us? He was ready to party, man. He was—he he just beelined it straight to that, to that jig. Yeah, he was—he was coming in for a little fight or something. Ain't nothing nowhere prettier, man. I'm telling you what. Cypress bottoms, man. I ain't get any better than that. It's just pretty as it gets. And he found the right theater out here. Shaking, dude, but my knees are shaking. <laughs> I just materialized out of nowhere, like I didn't even have a chance to. I almost had a chance to get nervous because it, I couldn't see him for so long. Mm -hmm. I was ready to back you up, man. I had the beat on him. If that joker didn't fall, when falling. he came through right back here, yeah. I hit him with the call because I had a nice clean gap right here and he didn't flinch. I was like, ah, oh, crap. And then he went back here and stopped. Yeah. The good thing about these cypress bottoms, man, is like they give you plenty of time to lift your gun up. Because once it gets behind the tree, it's your time to move, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting the shakes now. This is the jaw <laughs> quiver. <laughs> Gator right there. Yeah. Probably about a four footer. Yeah. Uh, five footer? Yeah, five footer. We got an eighteen pound two ounce bird. <laughs> 